Hello, Hunter. Good to see you finally awake. Yeah, <laughs> gave us quite the scare there, mate. Didn't think you were going to come out of this one. But you're awake now. That's all that counts. And we got you hooked up. Try not to move too much, but we've got you propped up on the bed at least. Sorry about the condition of the room. We had to make do with what we had. All that old tech in there will still work for what we need, however. Do you remember anything? No? Ah, oh, well, that's all right. And as in the dark say, we have, oh, well, we should uh, do some exercises. You know, get you back on your feet. I know you like designing those pins in your free time, and I've seen your sketchbooks. So, uh, I snuck you in something. Our oh, little secret. They didn't want new tech in there. You know, nothing to distract you from the healing process, but there's a tablet in there on the bed. Why don't you grab it? I'll just give you some debrief. You know, the standard fare. And then you can just draw. It'll be therapeutic, they say. Good for you. Trust me. It's all part of the process. Now, Hunter. Shall we begin? Where do we start off? Eh, I mean... This one's good. We should start off with something small for now. We'll start off with, uh... One of the fays, you know, creatures, I think, commonly known as jackalopes. Little bastards, mostly. Ah, uh, says here they have the innate ability to teleport. <laughs> sure makes them hard to track, even harder to capture. They just fuck off whenever they want, huh? Well, apparently, we've had a few in captivity. Whiskey, is that right? They have an affinity for it. <laughs> Don't we all, am I right? Well, they have my heart in that aspect. I don't know, maybe we'll just give them a few. We should just start laying traps out with that. Hi, Anders. Oh, right, I'm doing the interview. <clears throat> anyway, there's been reports... Not recently, but about two years off. Some kids around a campfire. Uh, they can apparently mimic human voices. Is that right? Human voices? Well, you may not remember this, but any time we hear of mimicry out in the wild, we send someone immediately. Too many big bads in the night have that same ability. Though, it says here that the, uh, sixteen age kids got away without so much of a scratch, so I assume the usual culprits weren't to blame. They usually do it to confuse and disorient people that wander into their territory. They rarely attack. That doesn't mean they don't, though. I guess they have horns, and with the ability to teleport, I guess they could cause some damage if you're wearing shorts. <laughs> Now, Anders is shaking his head, they can apparently get you. Oh, no. They had minor cuts and bruises and a few gore marks on their calves. But they said they saw bright lights and something zipping in and out of the campfire. Mimicking voices the entire time. Voices that they've never heard before and voices of their you know, fellow teens. Eh. Hard to cover up something like that. Have I ever told you about the cover-ups, by the way? Eh, back when we first saw them, when they were pouring out of the fey. Oh, there's a portal. Bet you didn't remember, but... Yeah, that's where all of them bleed out of. The fey creatures aren't really bad, but in enough mass and in the right situation, they can be, well, damn deadly. Yeah, we got a man named Herrick to do it. He's a friend, a cousin, someone in the industry. 
Someone in the facility? Interesting. I don't think I've ever read this one. Yeah, fake the whole thing. Made up those models. Made those fake heads. Said it was all an elaborate prank. A joke. And, well, the sightings sure went up after that. But you know how people get... You tell them there's, you know, a giant whale that lives in a volcano and all of a sudden everyone and their mother has seen it. Well, it all worked out. All things considered. What? Uh, hold on, Hunter. I'll be right back. Sorry. Where was I? Ah, yes, the heads. I'm sure you've seen them. You probably remember those. Those were before your time here. You probably just have, hopefully, short-term memory loss. Yeah, there are, I don't know, gas stations and the local roadhouses. You know, little rabbit heads. Jackrabbits, usually, with uh, deer antlers drilled into their skulls. They're fun. But, you know, you can't have a blue rabbit the size of a dog with glowing markings on the wall. That would uh, be a bit harder to hide. I'm not sure how we'd cover that one up. We'd have to introduce amnesiacs to an entire town. And with social media these days, it would be a little rough. I guess we could just say it's all fake. People... Rarely believe anything they see nowadays anyway. And, you know, being Fay, if the news got out of the healing properties, well, that'd be even worse. It's in their milk, according to this. Is that right, Anders? Ah, uh, right. Can't speak. Well, I'm not about to go out and milk one and find out. That sounds like too much of a mess from even me. Eh. You could probably just bottle it and sell it as a tonic. No? Oh, it says here it causes horrible, horrible... Oh. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, well, it may heal you, but you're going to be nauseous for up to six months. Don't know if that's a fair trade-off. Unless it heals bullet wounds. I would take some puking after that. Well, uh, like I said, regardless, capturing them... And keeping them in here is hard enough, let alone milking them. Yeah. It says here that early sightings were because of a god. A god? That's lowbrow even for us. Native American by the standing here. Mana man, many mum. Mana boso? Mana boso. Is that right, Anders? Yes? Excellent. Well, the natives believe that it was sent here by some trickster god as a manifestation. Eh. All my time here, I've never seen a god. Only monsters. And men turned into such. Would be nice to find one, I suppose. Wouldn't be too bad. Oh. Anders, you'll have a note in here. We've had one captivity before. Eh, for a bit. It even sang while in captivity? <laughs> well, imagine that, huh? Wonder if we could get one to do karaoke with us on Tuesdays. <laughs> imagine what one would sound like singing Lady Gaga. No, no, no. If we had enough whiskey, I bet we could do it. Well, just line up a few white claws and call it a day. Well, of course, we've had to put a few down also. Three, by the records here, over the years. They do get violent. They are extremely territorial, as all phase are. But, got nothing out of that. They just dissolve. Hard to perform an autopsy on dust. Just doesn't work out. Yeah. Trust me, we've probably tried. Anders? Hmm. 
He says we have. In a way. Well, I know they aren't the most grandiose. I know they're not the most, you know, influential in our society, but they do slip through from time to time, and I thought we'd start off with something fairly easy. Uh, they do inspire quite the sense of awe. We're at the time already. Yeah. Let's see what you got there. Oh, looking just like one. I've only seen pictures, and that's good. It means your memory, at least long term, seems to be intact. Yeah. I got news for you, Hunter. We're going to do something a little special. Why don't you send me that? And I'll go ahead and get a pin made for you. I know we have all the necessary things to make them. The facility is large after all. Little creative exercise. Get you back on your feet. Get you ready for what's out there. Time. Understood. Well, Hunter. I'm glad we had this chat, and that you are feeling better. But I don't want to take too much time away from your recovery. Why don't you get some sleep? And I'll have that pin for you tomorrow. We'll do another debrief. It'll be good. Trust me. Now, get some rest, Hunter. I'll see you tomorrow. Lights out.